Jim Neidhart returns at the end of Raw to yeah, save Brett from a Steve Austin. Yeah, they love him. He can, uh, they, he gets uh, the fucking rain, though, and he goes and have him, uh, that he could uh, run down to the Brett. Brett, my, he's my son, right? Okay. Brett, he could get them to save the fucking big bastard. God, he's strong. Is this a, a Stu call or is this Brett's idea since the rest of the fans there? <laughs> All the above. Okay. No, you know, I mean, Brett was obviously a big supporter of Jim and Brett and Jim were family, but they were also best friends. So Brett didn't push as hard as Stu did sometimes, but yeah, man, Brett was in there pitching for, for Jim. Absolutely. Uh, Sid wasn't there again this week. He had an MRI done on his back on April 28th over the weekend on TV. They announced he would be at raw to do an interview, but by Sunday it was known he wasn't going to be there. Well, is softball season started. Well, th- this is right after he lost the belt to the undertaker and it is starting to warm up. So is this same old quote unquote unreliable Sid, or do you think there was a real issue here? I think that unfortunately, sometimes with Sid's communication or lack thereof, no one will ever know. So maybe he said he was hurt. Maybe he didn't communicate. And whenever you get your wires crossed and things like that, then you just go right to the lowest common denominator. And while he'll say something, the spottings of Sid being on a softball field don't do him any favors. Yeah. So another talent mentioned here, Yokozuna was contacted about coming back with all the injuries, but he's on blood thinning medication. So if he were ever to suffer an accidental cut, the blood wouldn't clot and it could be really disastrous. No word on when he'll get clearance to return. The last time we saw him at this point was survivor series 96. And, and unfortunately we're going to start winding down his WWF career and we've done a whole episode on it, but man. What could have been with that guy, right? My God, one of the biggest and best big men ever in the business. You go back to when Rodney was four or 500 pounds and he moved like a 200 pounder. A nimble 200 pounder was absolutely amazing. 